What did you see on that last possession? Did it, I mean, is that what you guys wanted? Did it feel good coming out of your hand? Yeah, I mean, it felt great. Um, I think it was the shot that we, we wanted. I think um, we take that shot 10 times out of 10, but I just didn't make it. How do you guys get that final five minutes for the entire 40 minutes? Just playing with the chip on our shoulder, knowing that um, every possession counts, every possession matters, and we got to play like it. I feel like in the first half and, and a little bit through the second half, we didn't really play like that. Uh, we kind of took a lot, a lot of things for granted. Um, we just got to play with a lot of force on offense. Defense, um, I think more times than not, nine times out of ten, our defense shows up night in and night out, so we can rely on that. Um, but I think offensively, we kind of found our groove in that last five minutes just playing with our back against the wall, but it shouldn't take that uh, for us to get to play like that. How do you capture that? offensive attitude and, and approach, just in the aggressiveness moving forward? I mean, we showed that we can do it. Um, and I think that playing fast, um, playing with a sense of urgency, um, I mean, we, we've kind of found the recipe to doing it in like the last five minutes. So I mean, we just got to be consistent in doing that uh, going forward. So I mentioned VJ diving for that loose ball as being a turning point. What, what I guess, what changed right there? Yeah, I mean, VJ. I'm so proud of him. Um, I look up to him. Like, VJ, I, I can't even put into words how happy I am for him and how proud I am of him because he's he's been the most selfless guy on this team, the most team-first guy on this team. Um, and just I, like Zakai said, that was definitely a turning point for us. Um, just seeing, I think we're down definitely double digits at that point, but just seeing the effort that he played with, uh, the energy and the heart that he plays with day in and day out. Um, and you know, just seeing that you'd want him in a, in a, in a foxhole with you, uh, you want to go to war with him. And so I think that, that play right there gave us a lot of energy, uh, a lot of momentum, and we just built off of that. What did your teammates kind of say to you? What was the message from them right after the game? Um, just that they want me taking that shot. Uh, the game wasn't defined by that last shot. Um, not to, to hold my head on it, um, but it hurts. But like I said, I have. I told them I, I, we have the best group of guys in there. Um, I love them to death, and I wouldn't want to be playing basketball doing this uh, without any one of them. Um, they make it special day in and day out, and so I'm sorry. I, I apologize profu profusely. Um, I feel like I let a lot of people down, but um, they're not going to let me hold my head. Can this be a turning point for this offense? Yeah, um, for sure. but. We can say that and then come out the next game and, and not. So, I mean, it's all about how we respond. Um, we definitely, like I said, we found um, we found our groove in the last five, eight minutes. I don't know how long it was. But, yeah, I mean, I can say, yeah, this could be a turning point, and then, but we have to do it. Um, we can't just talk about it. But, I mean, it was good to definitely fight back um, and come back the way that we did in a hostile environment. It just hurts that we weren't able to, to pull it out. Did you guys do anything differently defensively in the final five and a half minutes, pressure-wise, anything? We just tried to heat the ball up, um, do stuff that we do day in and day out. We just tried to turn them over. Um, and, I mean, like I said, I just felt like we played with a chip on our shoulder on both ends of the floor. Thank you, Josiah.